have here in front of me is giant ragweed. It's one of the worst weeds that we deal with in, in the Midwest, especially in the Corn Belt. So there's a few key identifying characteristics for giant ragweed. The first key identifying characteristic is its thick, fleshy cotyledons that show up when it first comes out of the ground. So these cotyledons are oval and they have this dark green color. The second key identifying characteristic is the heavily lobed leaves of giant ragweed that are really rough to the touch. Last key identifying characteristic is the opposite leaf arrangement. When the giant ragweed leaves emerge, they emerge essentially at the same time and they develop opposite of one another on the stem essentially. The key to any successful weed management program is really diversity. So we could talk about diversity within cultural practices, but we can also talk about diversity within our chemical weed management program. So the key with you know, diversifying our chemical weed management program is making sure that we get multiple effective modes of action within that chemical weed program, especially at full use rates. For weed management of giant ragweed and corn, we've got a number of different options. For pre-emergence weed control, Acuron and Acuron Flexi are both excellent options. They've got the combination of the Mesotrion and Bicyclopyrone. The Mesotrion and the Bicyclopyrone will provide some excellent residual control. For post-emergence weed control in corn, we've got Halix GT. Halix GT is the combination of glyphosate, Mesotrion, and dual tube magnum. For control of giant ragweed post-emergence in soybeans, we have Flexstar GT. Now, Femesfin and glyphosate are both multiple effective modes of action. Giant ragweed can put on a few inches very rapidly. So it's especially critical that we get some of these post-emergence herbicides on giant ragweed very quickly. Yeah.